sponsored by Executive Homes. Well, the clouds held tight yesterday. It made for kind of a dreary day, Emma. Will we see some sunshine today? Yes, we did start off very, very dreary with lots of that cloud coverage. But hey, we are finally starting to see those peaks of sunshine right now. A little bit more people out and about on this Sunday morning, but this view right now is showing those uh, those almost clear conditions still seeing lots of that cloud coverage pushing off, but hopefully the sunshine helps us stay a little bit cool, but expect to still feel very, very chilly. This right here is part of Wade's RV weather camera network satellite earlier today, just showing that front that made its way into the overnight hours. Then you can start to see it brought lots of that heavy cloud coverage, but it is eventually starting to die off, giving us a little bit more of that sunshine. Now temperatures all across the state. We were struggling to get into those 40s. We are still in those 30s further towards the west and the panhandle in those 20s. You can really start to see where that front is still slowly making its way further towards the south. McAllister still at 42 degrees. Temperatures right now across the metro in those 30s, 37 in Tulsa, 38 in Coweta, Inola at 36 degrees. And those temperatures with those wind chills not looking too great either. 27 is what it actually feels like here in Tulsa. Again, 30 is what it feels like in Stigler and further towards the northwest 19 is what it feels like in Ponca City. Very, very chilly start to this Sunday morning, but also very windy. Like I mentioned, gusty wind still sticking and staying strong for us. 29 mile per hour wind gust here in Tulsa. Expect those windy conditions to stick around throughout the remainder of the day. This just shows very strong north the very strong cold front we saw as it is pushing us about 24 hour temperature change. We've seen about the teens into a little eight degree temperature change. You really start to see areas that have not seen the effects of that front this morning, but today not going to warm up too much still in those low 40s for us expected. But tomorrow we'll finally start to see the sunshine that we've been missing out on temperatures in those 50s for us. We will start to see a calm wind for tomorrow and pretty much for the remainder of the next few days, Tuesday and Wednesday looking very, very good temperatures in those upper 50s, possibly even some 60s on Thursday before our next storm system rolls around on Friday.